What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, what I want to do is talk to you about negative keywords, what they are, why you would use them, and how to set them up inside of your Google AdWords. Now, you can use negative keywords on any pay-per-click uh, advertising platform such as Bing Ads, Yahoo Ads, or Google AdWords, but I'm not going to do a separate video for Bing Ads and Yahoo Ads because it's the exact same thing and you access them the exact same way as you would via Google AdWords. So as long as you know what they are and how to do them, you should be able to do them across any other platforms. So let's get right into it. So here I have my fake campaign I've just made up just for the purpose of illustrations, you know, Sears.com. I paused it because obviously I don't want to run it. Uh, we don't really need the ad, so, so disregard what it says here. That's not the point. But we are going to focus on keywords. And particularly over here, as you can see, there's an option for keywords and negative keywords and search terms. So what are negative keywords? Negative keywords are the opposite of keywords. So keywords are when someone types in the keyword that you put in, in this case, for example, Sears Online Shopping, my ad will show up. That's keywords. Negative keywords are the opposite. If I were to put this term as a negative keyword and someone typed that in to the Google search bar, my ad would not show up. So you may be thinking, what's the point of this? Why would I not want my ad to show up? This doesn't make sense. Well, the reason is, if you have a phrase or broad match type on your keyword list, it's highly likely that you're going to get very, very unrelated search terms. So in this case, Sears Online Shopping is a broad match. Now, let's just for simplicity, let's say I'm going to put it to phrase match just to make things easier. So Sears Online Shopping, if someone types that in or those or, or as long as those words are in the search term, my ad will show up. So question to you now is, is the search term Sears Online Shopping video game relevant to what I'm selling? For this particular ad, no, it's not. My ad is redirecting people to the Sears site where it sells all the furniture and all that stuff. And if people type in, um, it, it, it's down here somewhere, uh, Sears Online Shopping video game, that's completely irrelevant. We don't want to pay for those irrelevant clicks. So what do we do? We put in the negative keyword. And the negative keyword we put in is video games because we don't want people who type in our keyword plus video games to show up. Now, this doesn't really apply if you have exact keywords because as long as that exact keyword shows up, only then your ad will show up. There's no room for any variation. But this does really strongly apply to phrase or broad match types. Because as I said, you will get completely, completely irrelevant clicks. So over here, you may be thinking, how do I find out what people typed in? Well, the way you would do that is you would go into your dimensions tab and click on view search terms. So over here, you have all these options. Click on view search terms. Now, this ad, of course, didn't run. I didn't want it to run. I'm not advertising Sears. So what for you on your end, what this would look like is you would have a list of search terms over here that people put in exactly as they typed it in Google. So over here, you would have the match type, say uh, phrase or broad. And over here, you would see uh, the related um, phrase or broad match type that you have as part of your keywords. So if your keyword is whatever we had here, what, what did we say? Sears online shopping, it would say over here, Sears online shopping, but the search term that people typed in was Sears online shopping video game. That's what it would say. And this is how you would figure out what people are typing in to get to your ad. So every once in a while, take a look at this tab and, and see, are these clicks relevant? If they're not, we need to add negative keywords because we don't want to pay for those irrelevant clicks. And the way we would add the negative keywords are by going to this keyword tab and clicking on the negative keywords tab here and adding the keywords either add just for the ad group or for the entire campaign. Negative keywords work exactly the same as keywords in terms of the match types. So there's an exact negative keyword, there is a phrase a negative keyword, and there's a broad match negative keyword. And they work exactly the same. So let me give you some examples. So let's suppose we type in exact. So the way we write exact terms are by having these square brackets. So I will say video games and I'll put it in square brackets and I will click save. Now what's going to happen if someone types in only the search term video games, 
my ad will not show up. So remember, negative keywords are exactly the opposite of keywords. So if I were to put this as a regular keyword, video games, my ad will show up only when someone were to type in video games. In this case, if someone types in video games, my ad will not show up. So in this case, making it as an exact match is not really effective because no one's going to type in video games. Our ad won't show because we don't have that as part of our keywords. So for this particular case, having an exact search term of video games isn't really useful. But let's move on to the next two, which is the phrase and the broad match negative keywords. So let's suppose now we add in a phrase, which is with those, with those semicolons. So we're going to say video games and we'll click save. So now this is a phrase match type. So now what's going to happen is as long as the words video games is in the search term, our ad will not show up. This is what we need. Because when we went to dimensions, right, if, if, if you remember, we went to dimensions and you looked over there on the search terms, we saw clicks that had video games in there. And you're saying this is not relevant. And, and if you have conversions set up, you, you will most likely see that the conversions are zero. You have no conversions from those clicks. In that case, you would need to put something like this in. So as long as the word video games together are in the search term, your ad will not show up. That's how the phrase negative keyword works. And this is exactly what we need for this case. Last but not least, let's go with the broad match type, which, which is just video games. We, we're, we're not putting any semicolons or brackets, anything like that. We'll click save. Now, as long as anything similar to video games shows up in the search term, your ad will not show up. So it could be games video. It could be video games for me, video games for free. Um, video games for Sears that are great. As long as something close to video games or the words are just interchanged, as long as that's in the search term, your ad will not show up. So this is a bit too broad. I, in this case, I may use it because video games is 100% irrelevant to what Sears is selling, but sometimes you may not want to use broad because it may hit on actual relevant clicks. So you may lose out on some relevant clicks because it's just so broad. It may use synonyms uh, and, and it, may, um, it, it may go to related terms. So I would like to stick with phrase, phrase type, okay? So that's about it for the negative keywords. Just um, some, some additional information for dimensions. The best way to determine whether clicks are relevant or not is via conversions. So if you do have the conversion set up, as I've done in my previous videos, I'll put a link up above, you should be able to determine the keywords that are very weak because they have no conversions. And those are the ones, you know, those are the words that you should put as negative keywords. Now, if you don't have conversions set up, you can just use common sense and if for, for some reason, if you don't have conversion set up, you definitely should because this is how you determine what works or not. This is how you optimize your campaigns. But if for some reason you don't have it set up, such as if you're an affiliate marketer promoting some products from affiliate networks which don't offer conversion tracking, you would just use common sense and you would, hopefully you're using some sort of tracking system to, to see how many clicks you're getting. You would be able to kind of correspond and see how many sales did I get versus how many clicks. So if you're getting 100 clicks of over here, Sears online store, you know, video games, and you are getting zero sales, that should kind of be a sign to you that, hey, I'm getting zero conversions out of 100 clicks, not good, take it out. Even if you have one or two sales in this case, out of 100 clicks, that's pretty low. And again, using common sense, it's extremely irrelevant to put in video games for something promoting Sears. So that's, that's about it for negative keywords. We went over the three types, the exact phrase um, and broad, I went over how to place them, why they're used and how you would set it up uh, and, and how you would determine what negative keywords you should be putting down based on what people are typing in the Google search bar. I hope that this was helpful for you. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave them down below. I try to be as responsive as I can on the YouTube channel and the Facebook group. I usually try to respond within six to 12 hours. So pretty quickly. Um, and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, how-tos, etc., etc. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.